I'm starting a YouTuber around here. Welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed so far. I just had to pay a bounty because I got like a oh, how much is it? A couple hundred bounty. A couple hundred dollar bounty on this one I'm trying to see. Just quickly pay back so I can move through this city back. Every corner of it go around and around. There's a sheriff or something. I got here before. There was, a, there was a smoke going on, so I went around to help. And they're getting a uh, wanted. I end up actually hitting Dutch over with my horse. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. You're real funny, Dutch. Oh. I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here and on. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I said, that's the state of Le Moine for you. Hello? America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, <clears throat> I'll get Excuse you in a me. sec. Not unless we all get washed away. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Well, we're not going to leave it. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, it makes my skin crawl. I'm so squat, you cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. Thanks. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, right there. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. 
Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little bit of shit. Let's go. That yeah, fellow yeah. was angry. Stop, shit. Rob the fire kit. Thanks, Frank. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Mm, here. Bronte? At home. Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to Saint Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I'm sure we will. Isn't he a kid from the first window dimension? I'm not quite sure, because I'd know when John dies at the end of the first one, he plays this kid. I cannot decide which I like less. Not too sure. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, far from real open country. Everybody, where was last time was some sort of grave graveyard mission. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? So this guy wants. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too, that too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? 
Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Oh, well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Okay. Mm. It is kind of weird. Got the eight dollars just to go in there. There was another question mark over in the area, which is just over there. Okay. How many question marks I've got to do around here? Oh no. I kind of want to get on the main story mode, but. Once again, done that way while I'm here. Good morning to you. Question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. Yeah. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen. Don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, <laughs> friend. Go pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Order calls. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy. I got that, yeah. Tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. You know, all the night. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but. Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. 
But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Lysandini is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the oh, corner... 2022 the is when they were Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'm going to go in there. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Are you looking for anything in particular? <laughs> you timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Uh, got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, the, the door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Try to pick and I'll shoot you. Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Don't oh, me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. 
¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Okay, that's a long time. Alright, I actually got under the main story mode now. Let's go, girl. Whoa! Oh, come on. Out of my way. Shut up before I kill you. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. <laughs> I got this. Sono Steve Buffoni. Sono 
qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, my stinking city, of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? I hate people like that in my life, man. <laughs> Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John oh, Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know, you would not want that, huh? No, 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 so, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linden, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. This is the last mission I remember doing. Okay then, girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No, no idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? I know I don't. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. I feel like a lot of people like you just think they're all big and hard. Should I put a bullet okay. in his head in the game? I think this is it. <gasps> Keep it down. Let's hit your horses up ahead.
issued, like, don't trust him at all. He's got that look. Probably gonna have to kill him on, sooner in the game. Probably gonna have to do it. Probably gonna be part of the story. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Lamppost. I'm with you. I hear someone though. Get yourself home. shot at us from. <sighs> Probably grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Check that spot where it all kicked off. Think there might be something in here. Yep. 
got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Stay together. Okay, covered. John. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. So I thought we had the better scroll wheel in the city. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. I don't know when we get to meet him then. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Mm -hmm. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, would you see where we're at once we got Jack? Come on, Arthur. You took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. What I miss? You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And oh yeah, I sort of remember that simple one. Country boys. I didn't get too far in the sea, but... Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Alright, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. That right? that is. Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. I love cooking Italian Don't food. call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. <laughs> and pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm 
just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Where's it's often, man? So it's still a trusted guy. Son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? Don't I'm John get thank you. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Alright, oh, what's the next mission? Oh no, there was once one in camp one there. Uh, oh, I've got to wait for it to sync up. Hey, make some room for John there. Forgive me, Miss Grimshaw. Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Javier, play us away. Bella sierra, morena, cielito, vino, viene bajando. I don't know, I'm trying to use a cigar then.
We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. Hi, Miss Grimshaw. I think the asset pretty good, didn't I? I would know that. Oh, I can fast travel from here. Oh, that's handy. Are both my horses here. Oh, they are as well. So I need to get a horse at some point. Sort it out. Give him a name. I said I don't want Sleep. Okay. No. Just don't mean the next half an hour to run. It's currently half four in the morning. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? 
Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Why well, she always seem to contact him when she needs money or something or help? Saw my down. <laughs> I need a drink. Did you drink enough last night? Alright, what wishes in the air? Let's have a look. And that's the party in it. Okay, and there's um, obviously the other one is there. Right. And where's another stable from here? Oh, only over there, just just in the city. Got it at some point. A second, guys. Well, let's do this one over it first. Let's say I can wait. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. If you boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> what about you? I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Okay. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But, like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I 
Let's just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You was fish. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. some hell oh I see that kindly face of yours and I know that for the right inducement a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind now get out of here oh now you keep saying that but you don't mean nothing by well, I it I said you said your last word well what are you waiting for get in there and find a girl okay Me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring him back alive. I am done with the dead. All right. Get after them. For you, you bastards! We can't let these animals get away! They're heading down the hill to the water! You got it! Oh, there they are by the shoreline! Oh, hang on, the range is it. She's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be Not needing again. it no more. Now the fun starts. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. 
Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Oh, shit. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my damn coward. Oh, what the heck? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your... Because I like to go... Play as Dutch in a way. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my Never hit a woman. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> This horse is like a good horse. Yeah. Let's head back to camp real quick. Oh, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm in the back here. Long getting that. We did nothing wrong. Whoever put you two together was playing a long and hard for my day. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transport some lawbreakers. Hey, you there. Get us out of here. Help us, please. You were set up, honest. Bumping the damn heads together, why don't you? Hey, do we look like bad people? Hey, I want. 
Out of there. Three horses there now. Hmm. That was massive. I can't beside that big white one. Hmm. Let's take guys. Let me check how long the video is real quick. Just over an hour so far, so I think I've got time to do one more mission. Actually, I might actually just not do that as the main mission, in it? I don't want to advance in a story mode about doing uh, these other ones. Let's do this one first then. What's it telling me to go all the way around? I can let me just walk there. Just gonna see what's going on once. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how far is that one then? Camper grids I can do real quick. The 
my room or what? Yeah. Oh no, it's over here, isn't it? Hey, Arthur. Upstairs then. I might actually rob that stage coach and call it then. I don't know, I kinda wanna do the main missions for now. It should be ready in the morning when I come on. How's this measure? Oh, there you are. This is any upgrades that I can do. Done then. I think I need this. I think I can do is supplies, but I don't really need supplies. You know what, let's just do that stage coach and call it. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, alright? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now. Who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand holding off of Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> All right. Let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. Seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least you has got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead, I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. No. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course.
Come on, man. How does it take to get this? Should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Yeah, it's coming now. Oh. see no escorts neither <laughs> this would be a cakewalk are you sure about that you see any as soon as they're close enough we'll jump out hit them fast just wait for my lead okay That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. Luck was alive. Don't worry too much about it. Well, get out of here before any more turn up. Looks like for me. See you back at camp. I love them all. I wonder if I can sell this. Real quick. Map. Where's the nearest one from here? Oh! I might as well do that one down there, bro. I knew it was close. Yeah, I'm not going out all the way over here. That's a 
got that money okay, as well. Girl. Yeah, anyway, so. Yep. Down in front, so there's no yeah. way I was escaping. Then. A drum map, okay. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Uh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Things visible. I got a powerful purse on me right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for all. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. Strike them, miss. We tried it. <laughs> Why would you do that? No choice. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's something in my footlocker. I can't, 
I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Same as that was so stupid. Well, I said that the camp won't work. Well, it shouldn't take long to get there. in the ambush this time. to clean that pistol work, actually. Alright, I think that's it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, comment, and rest of the update all my content. I'm actually going to try and head to sleep. I get a bit tired, actually. I know. I might stay awake. I'll see how I feel. Watch TV for 10 15 minutes and see if I'm going to support sleep or not. Anyway, guys, take care. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of the day.